Okay. Eighty-four point seven. Nice. What's up guys? So, you saw that little check in there of my awful, ugh, awful physique. And that's because, well, we are, we are, we are shredding. We are getting lean, nice and slowly. Um, but actually turns out I've been doing it faster than I thought. Weighed in this morning, 84.7 kilograms. At the start, I obviously didn't show you at the start, I was actually 89. So I've dropped five kilos in the last about four or five weeks which is actually pretty average I'd say it's two two and a half pounds a week um, and that's good because I was carrying a lot a lot of water weight a lot of water weight and you know obviously body fat is my problem um, at the moment so that little physique check in there is just literally is, is accountability for myself uh, and shows you guys what kind of shape I'm in currently I'm incredibly strong as usual but I'm not and not aesthetic at all. I've never been that kind of person. I'm naturally quite endomorphic. I'm naturally a bit of a fatty. I put on weight quite easily. I do, you know, I do train hard and things like that. And I'm more than capable of becoming very lean. But for me, genetically, I just I just pile it on too easily. And that was my problem as well. As like within the last sort of sort of six months after I did my last shred, I just rebounded. I talked about that in a, in a video before about rebounding that was my story I just I rebounded really hard and I went from like 75 to like back up to 89 and it was just over a period of time just not not really trained properly so I've lost a lot of good shape but I believe there's something still there and I'm not fussed about being like you know all these well I like to be proportionate obviously I don't want like skinny ass legs and a, a bigger upper body or the other way around I've lost a lot of like muscle so I've I'm a bit like skew with in places and I'd rather not be so what we're going to try and do is just see where we're at lean and then go from there. But it's just all about having fun for this one. Last shred, I was constantly, you know, eating the same shit food every day. You know, like broccoli and turkey and proper low carb. And it was destroying my soul. And I think now it's going to have to be different. I'm doing this the lifestyle way, the way that we should be doing things. You don't need to go on meal preps just to lose body fat. It's fucking stupid. It's calories in versus calories out. It's as easy as that. Keep your protein nice and high. Calories in versus calories out. Get your get your get your margins right. Put 500 calories a day under your deficit, no, under your maintenance. Sorry, as your deficit, and then you you sound, and and that's what we've been doing so far. We just need to keep going. We just need to keep going as we get to about in about three weeks. I'm gonna recalculate, set a new calorie goal, because I'll be at a new weight, and then we'll go from there. But so far, I'm alright with my progress, and I'm, I'm alright sharing it as well. That's that's body confidence for you. That's what we do at HR Personal Training. Body confidence. You just learn body confidence when you just when you, when you let people know what you look like, and when you let people know how you feel about it. Because it gets everything off your chest. Don't bottle it up. Get it out there. Right. So in today's vlog. We are, obviously I've told you my story about, oh, one sec. There it is. I told you my story about my check-ins and what I'm doing at the minute. I'm actually doing this like in silence a little bit, trying not to tell people. I don't know, I just like told everyone about my last shred and I think they got a bit bored. Because it's boring, shredding's boring, man. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just doing this in silence. I'll show you my training, stuff like that. Today is a push day. Today's a push day, and I, was mad. I thought I forgot my top. I was like, oh shit. Oh, today's a push day, and I'm going to do that later on. I'll video that for you all, and you can see how sick my push sessions are. And. I've got clients tonight, I've got, oh, teaching a kettlebells class that I just don't want to teach because I don't teach kettlebells, they're shit. I 
I'm just going to a meeting now with my business coach, so that should be fun. This is a boring, if you haven't noticed already, I'm ill. I'm dying, my throat is like groggy. I woke up one day and it just appeared. Fuck. So, I'm just battling a man, a man flu and I really, I, really, I wasn't, wasn't gonna do it today. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do this vlog, but for all three of you, I'm doing it, I'm doing it for you. Well, I guess I'll see you all in the gym. <laughs> When at first you fail, you must try again. session I forgot my top so I had to like just just do it in the old jumper but it's alright it's good job it's thin I like this stuff from Nike this is actually a golf top believe it or not and that's, that's something you don't know about me I play golf and I'll play this <laughs> um, ending this vlog here I'm really ill and I've just like I bashed out that training session I had a really good work day at work though as well like everything business wise has been smashing it today. Smashing it. Happy days. It's a good feeling, especially when you're ill. And I'm just pretty buzzing with today's effort. So I'm going to end it here. And I'll see you at the weekend. Bank holiday. Oh yeah. Alright, goodbye. Smash thumbs up button. Subscribe.
Liz.